So I know if we use the automatic PDF to, uh, to spreadsheet uh, conversion, it's just not going to give us a good table at all. So we know we have, I know we have to use the custom here. So what we do is we select um, the page three, um, and then we edit, and we select a page range. So we want now from three to 33. This was pin page 17. We extracted 15 to 47, and now we only have 33 pages. So we skip the first two, go to page three to 33. And we say, okay. And now we, we want to convert to Excel. So we click this. And now we, we want to use the custom settings. But the first thing we have to do is change the um, settings here the, that the custom is going to use. And the, the biggest trick that we have here is we know that every table is really the, very close to the same. It's broken up by pin name, pin number, pin type. Uh, this is like an I.O. standard. And this is the description. So the secret we're going to use, we're going to say we want one single table for the whole range. And what able to extract is going to do is it's going to build one giant table and the, the columns won't be right, but we can tweak them um, on an individual basis and we'll see how we go do that. So we say OK here and then we go to define. The very first thing we're going to do after that, so now we have one giant table and what able to extract shows us is every page is green. That means it applied the same table to every page, and that's important to note. And when we start playing around, we'll see that some go red to say, oh, we're on a different table now. So what we're going to do first is we're going to, we want to get rid of these headers and footers. So we can go to the header and footer settings and go there. So on from page range 3 to 33, we're going to enable headers and footers, and we're going to not keep them. We're going to say, OK. So the header is right now is defined as that little gray spot up there, which isn't right. So we're going to edit the header and we'll just pull it down to here to the, that separating line. Okay. The footer is this spot here. So now we're going to edit the footer and we'll move it up. Okay, and now for every page, it's got a header and a footer, and it won't try to include that in the spreadsheet. So that's really, really nice. The next thing we're going to do is um, able to extract does not default to using these horizontal lines to define table rows, but we want it to. So we're going to go to the row settings, and we can see because we said we only want one table, there's one table, and it goes from page range 3 to 33, and it's called table 1. So we're going to say we want you to use horizontal lines to define the rows. And we say OK. That's a really big step that helps us out a lot. OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add columns or we're going to play with the column definition. So we can see that there's a column here that we don't need. There's a column here that looks good. There's a column here, here. This column we don't need. This column we don't need. And this column we don't need. So we really need a column for the signal name, a column for the signal number, the type, the other, which I'm going to call the I.O. standard, and the description. So what we're going to do is we're going to go use this erase column line, okay? And we'll click on that one and delete it. So now we have one. Um, we're going to click on this one and delete it. And now we have two, and then there's two others. So we're going to delete that one and delete that one. And then it's very important to take off that erase column line. So let's go back to add columns. When this is on, we can we can add columns or we can move columns. Okay. So now we have a nice looking uh, set of columns here. And if we look at what's going to be extracted, we're going to see a signal name, a number, a type, other, and description. And so for all these pins on this uh, page, everything looks good. So let's go down. The next thing to do is let's go down and look at the next page. And this one looks pretty good, right? Um, it looks like this column could move here. Uh, so, but if we look at it here, so let's look, click on this page and see what the conversion looks like. And let's slide the conversion up just a little bit. 
uh, we got table three six we got other the this line is actually pretty good it, it's it, it it's splitting here so we don't really have to move this one but we could if we wanted to let's go find one that's really broken so we're going to come down to here and here we see that the column alignment is broken so the column because from up here where it surrounded the pin number in this case the pin number was over to the right too far so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new table definition and the way we do that is we use this exclude button it's, you're not going to find these directions in the able to extract so we have to pay attention and play along we're going to say exclude and that excludes page five so now page five has its own table definition okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to go fix the table so we can see we want the we can because the where add columns is highlighted we can move the columns now so we're going to move that one over to surround the description we're going to move this one over to separate the other we're going to move this one over to the type and then we'll move this one over to catch the um, pin number the next thing we're going to do is extend this definition to all the following pages so we're going to say from 5 to 33 so now all the next pages are using this alignment the next thing we're, so now we're going to go see how that works for the next pages so we know the first three pages were okay and we fixed the one for the four these pages are still looking good let's it's sometimes easier to walk we were on page seven let's look at page eight see how that's doing so page eight we could see is bad again right the description is split right down here and we don't want that so we're gonna make a new table definition we're gonna exclude so now page 8 has its own table definition and let's fix up the columns so we're gonna move that column to there we're gonna move this column to here and then we're gonna move this column something feels wrong with what I'm doing this column is here we, we need to move what happened is the pin number is too far so we need to move that back so we're gonna move that one back to there We'll move that one back to there we're gonna move this one to here and then this one will break up the definition okay and then we're gonna extend that to the end again the extend is kind of optional we don't I don't think we have to do that but it just applies the next one it, it applies it in a good sense so we we can just keep walking through the document and fix it up so we're coming down here these all look good these look good and unfortunately because this document is just a little different difficult we have to go through all of these steps okay these look good still looks good so the page 8 being applied <coughs> All the way down here is pretty good so the fact that we did extend that definition really helped and now we're at this page we're at 17 and if we track along it's like I said it's sometimes easier to jump pages here let's look at page 18 looks good page 19 looks good let's look at page 20 so page 20 it looks pretty good I mean the alignment could be a little better but it's gonna work for us and we can see that here that it pulled out signal name pin number er everything looks good in that column let's go to page 21 still looks good 22 still looks good 23 is looking good let's look at 24 looks good 25 26 27 28 29 30 are we still good we are 
31. 32. Is 32 aligned? Yes, it is. And 33. We look very good. So with that, we've def the table should be very consistent. So the next, because of that, now what we want to do is we want to save this setup that we did. So we go to File, and we're going to say Save Custom Excel Template as Peak. We're going to say we're doing it for this document, so we're saving the rules that we use to convert. Custom 1.pconvert. Okay? And then now that means we can reuse it, and I'll talk about that in a second. So now what we can do is we can convert... save it as Excel and then wait for it to finish. And now here is the spreadsheet it built for us. So we have the signal name, the number, the type, and let's just scroll through it really quickly and make sure everything is lining up in columns like it should. And it looks good. So we're going to close this. And then the next thing I'll show you is how we can reuse that setting, the settings that we saved. So we're going to go File, Close. We're going to go File, Open. And let's pick the page 15 to 47 again. And then at the beginning of time, what we're going to do is if we want to redo this, we're going to load this custom Excel template. And this is the one we saved it as, the custom pconvert. We open it. And very quickly, it's going to do the whole work for us where everything is defined. And so from here, because we saved it, if we had to change something, it's very easy to go back and do it again. So this it's set up to do the exact operation that we just did. So when you come up with the when you do these difficult edits, you save the pconvert file, and then you save it with your data. You save it locally with your PDF file, so you can reuse it. And that's all we're going to cover today.